in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to create six options timeline slide in powerpoint and this is how the slide works when i click you can see here the first the road comes here and when i click the first year comes as if a uh, uh, this particular emoji or the icon is holding this ear and then you can add the title and the detail text at the bottom when i click it will show you the next year which is the year 2000 then 2005 10 and then 2018 you can see here i put the boxes in all different colors or the placards you can see here and then this year for 2025 so depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease these options and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section i have used office 2019 version to do this however if you are using the older version some features may not be available so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to insert shapes from the lines i am going to select the freeform shape so first click it here this corner all right and then you can just make it somewhat bent downwards and then add one more here and then add one more here at this corner then go down something like this i'm going to make a zigzag kind of thing and from here till here and then you attach it bring it like this and double click this one so you end up getting a shape something like this so shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can give any gray color then right mouse click edit points you can see here there are different points are there so select the first point here and right mouse click and say smooth point here all right and this also select it and make it smooth point this also select and make smooth point and this also select as a smooth point and then you can see here click on this and these two squares are there just drag this square something like this all right so depending on your requirement you can change it and here also if you want further more width you can give it and if you want to correct something here at the bottom you can correct that also so you can see here with a simple step i have made a shape something like this now if you want to change the shape shape other again you can right mouse click edit point and change according to your requirement all right so if you want to reduce the size you can just reduce it also like this then i'm going to add one more line in the center for that go to insert shapes i'm going to select again this freeform shape i'm starting from here click one here it doesn't matter it goes outside not a problem later on you can correct it and then at the end double click this one shape outline make it white and then right mouse click select this right mouse click edit point and then this again you have to make it a smooth point and this also you have to make it a smooth point and then correct this one you can see here you just can correct like this and here also you can correct with the help of this all right so something like this you can do it or if you want you can just make it more up and like this also it can be done so you can see here a divider has been created here so once this is done what you can do is you can make it a gradient fill here also or uh, you can add one more line if you need okay so this is my basic design ready so then what i'm going to do is i'm going to add some icons so there are different ways of adding the icons if you have the icons in your pc you can use it or you can go to insert click on the icons and select the right icon from this particular icons provided and these icons are available only in the latest version of powerpoint so you can see here all these icons are there so whichever icon which feels or which supports your requirement you can add that one so you can see here i can add if i want i can add this one i can add this two all right and i can click on insert all right then let me just move this here i'm going to put it here here i'm going to put it one press ctrl d to duplicate this one i want to add one here 
then control d to duplicate i want to add one here and i want to add one more here so this is one way of adding the icons or you can just download this particular app called pigeon this particular app also you can download it and you can add the icons from here also all right so now let's take this one and then what you can do is you can add the ear so depending on your requirement how many emojis or how many icons you want to add you can just add it here for example now go to insert shapes i'm going to select one rounded rectangle make one rounded rectangle here shape outline make it no outline shape fill maybe you can give some green color and it is holding like this all right you can see here press ctrl d this one for this or you can make it up also but it doesn't look good so i'm just going to put it here as if they are holding this particular uh, boxes and press ctrl d to duplicate and this one i'm going to put it here and then i'm going to add one more rectangle straight rectangle you can see here shape outline no outline shape fill maybe you can make it black and then put this one send this to back so this one also you can make it like this press ctrl g ctrl d to group it and add one more for this all right so you can see here something like this you can do it and then on top of this you can add the ear go to insert text box i'm going to say for example starting from 2000 center align put it here make it bold if you want and white color press ctrl d so this could be say 2005 all right then ctrl d to duplicate bring it here this could be 2010 duplicate and here i'm going to put 2018 and then the last one i'm going to make it as 2023 could be and depending on your requirement you can just change the color of this move this one for example and if you want to change the color to any color of your choice you can do that also all right so you can see here the text has been added on top of these boxes and then you can go to insert text box you can add the title here add the title make it bold reduce the font size center align maybe you can add the title here press ctrl d one more title you can add it here one more here you can see here i'm going to add one more title and the last title here all right once this is done you can add some detailed text to it add detail text for this year center align reduce the size maybe you can make it gray color and i'm going to add it here press ctrl d i'm going to add here and make it left align you can see here align this properly also make sure it is also left do some alignment then press ctrl d and this one should be right aligned i'm going to put it here right align you can see here so something like this you can add the text according to your requirement and the text here or if you want the text here also can be added if you don't want it at the bottom here also it can be added so you can see here in simple way you can add the the timeline slide like this and the last if you like to add some basic animation you can add that one so i'm going to select this one hold the shift key select this line press ctrl g to group it so it becomes one and then you can go to the animations enable the animation folder and then for this i'm going to give a vibe vibe it should start from left okay you can see here or if you start from bottom it looks like this if you start from top it looks like this so from the top i think this is much better you can see here there's the first one and then this particular man with the the placard i'm going to select and group it you can see here this also if you want i can just group this one 
first of all okay i'm just grouping it one by one and then we can add it the animation okay and this also i'm going to group it now this particular man should come maybe fly in fly in it should come from maybe left okay you can see here and then the text and the detail text should appear for that add animation more entrance effect i'm going to select the stretch click ok and this should happen with previous for example now if i play it comes the road then like this you can see here similarly now this one should come again for this fly in fly in maybe from the top or from right whichever way you want you can do that one and then this one should come for this maybe again you can use it wipe and this should happen after previous and then both of this text i can group this also and then add animation more entrance effect stretch click ok effects i can just say from left and this should happen with previous all right so if i play now you can see here the first one comes this year 2000 and when i click the second year comes 2005 so likewise you can add the animations to the rest of the options